Hi and welcome back to the makeshift desk that I sit at for news videos. So this is once again a rather spontaneous video because Jackson just launched a new run of guitars. Those guitars being the American series soloists. Now as a massive fan of, well both Fender and Jackson guitars, after seeing a few social media posts about this new run I was prepared to pay pretty much anything they asked to get my hands on one. So now I'm here on their website and here it is, the American series soloist SL3. 2,900 euro. <laughs> This seems a little steep, all right, let's see if it's justified, let's just... So it comes in very standard soloist colors, black, white, blue, and green. So down here they wrote basically an entire book about all of the specs, the history of Jackson, and why you should in fact spend 2,900 euro on this guitar. And towards the bottom they list the specs of it. It does have a few quite cool features like luminescent side dots on the neck and a spoke wheel truss rod adjuster. But then here comes the kicker, and keep in mind the price tag of 2,900 euro or US dollars, they're the same now. The Floyd Rose, uh, st starting off good, 1500 series double locking tremolo bridge system. What? <laughs> So you're paying absolutely top dollar for this guitar, right? Like maybe 0.4% of guitars out there in the world cost more than three grand. And you get the Korean made Floyd Rose. They have the audacity to not offer you a German made Floyd Rose made of higher quality metals and less likely to break your strings while using it. But that's not even the worst part yet. It gets fucking worse. All right, keep in mind once more the price tag of $2,900. So I'm back on the new guitars page now, let's just browse for soloists for about half a second. Oh there's one, Concept Series Soloist Walnut. This costs 800 euro or dollars less. So by Jackson logic, this should now be Floyd Rose special territory. <laughs> Think of unconventional takes on our revered high-tech Jackson shapes, this is a strat. <laughs> At an enticing price point, there is nothing enticing about what they're pulling right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's check some of the specs of it. Lumen lace side dots, so you're not sacrificing those even though you're paying considerably less. And a Floyd Rose original double locking tremolo. It comes in the same case as the other one. All of the hardware besides the clearly superior tremolo is also the same. Why would you buy the other one when this one exists? Does this even look cool? Is the other one, does it even exist? Or is it just like a scheme to get you to like compare prices and make this one seem better to you and make you buy this one? You know what, this reminds me of Yeezys, where they'll just come up with the most absurd bullshit nonsense to see how much money their audience will spend on something that doesn't even fulfill the purpose that shoes were constipated for anymore. This guitar has the same specs for, the, for a decent price too, this is a fucking insane guitar, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Look, here's a 7 string Rhodes V from the Concept series, 500 bucks cheaper than the last one still. Floyd Rose original. What is happening? Now obviously I can't stop you from buying these guitars if you still absolutely want to for some reason. I absolutely wanted to as well before I checked the specs online and thought I was having a f***ing stroke. Do not buy these guitars, please. Buy like a concept series soloist or something. That thing was sick. I'm not even saying like I'm done with Jackson now. I hate Jackson for doing this or whatever. But if you buy these guitars in particular, you're a f***ing idiot. <laughs> Thanks for showing up to this impromptu TED talk, I guess. My most recent bit's somewhere up here. You can sub somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my social media is linked in the description. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you later.